Welcome back, guys, to Battle for West North. This is the South Guard. We're on to our fourth scenario here. Alright, so. This is the Vale of the Blossoming Trees. Our great sages come here off to find peace and enlightenment. Some other elves also live nearby, mostly artisans inspired by the tranquility of the valley. Does seem peaceful, but why are there humans camped to the south of us? Are they friends of the elves? What? Those marauders are no friends of ours. We must destroy them at once, comrade. Perhaps they are allied with the bandits who have been sacking Weston. They have grown quite bold if they are attacking the elves. They would not dare to without aid of the Dark Ones, but we will vanquish them all nonetheless. Now listen well to me, you. The great sage Mebrin is ancient and remembers well Haldric's betrayal of the elves. Should one of you set foot in his village first, he will certainly drive us away. Ooh, sounds like a charming fellow. Mebrin can be difficult, yes. However, should we cleanse the valley and restore peace to his home, I am sure he will accept your request for his aid. That is, so long as I am the one who makes the request to him, yes. Oh, very well. We will put our trust in you, Ethelil. But first, we have a battle to attend to. Ha! You blabbering buffoons. Even you defeat us here. It does no matter. We've already taken what we wanted from this valley. Weep, filthy fleshbags. Weep, I know that your tears will become the blood that stains the trees and feeds our power. <laughs> oh, anyways. Sorry, guys. Got carried away there. Alright, cleanse the Veil of Tears, move Athelial to Mebrin's village. Okay, and don't let any of these people die. Gotcha. Where is Mebrin's village? Let's take a look. Ah, down there. Okay. Okay, okay, good neighbors. Why don't you come collect that stuff? Let's move these guys down here. Now, let's uh, stick close to each other, shall we? And let's recall some of our troopers here. Bada boom. And yeah, it rolled. Have you take that? Let's see. Charge! Ah, uh, yeah, we've got extra gold to spare, so let's go ahead and keep recalling what we've got. Um... No, let's not recall those guys. Uh, peasants are pretty weak. Wow, doesn't look like we have a whole lot available to us, honestly. Let's grab another cavalryman, and... Looks like that's it for now. I don't see much point in recalling the peasants at this point, because even if we can get them to level up, it's still, you know, 20 for something that would normally cost, like, 8 gold, so... That's a hard one to say is a good value. I don't want anybody getting too far ahead. Uh, 
Um, well, let's leave everybody spread out just a smidge there. Bring our naval units down through the river. bring him back along the road. Because if I bring him over here, he'll be off on his own, and that's not a good not a good thing to do, actually. Uh, we just don't have anybody new, unfortunately, so I think we'll hold off for the moment. Fishman. <laughs> what should we do? For now, I can slow them down, but there are. But where are the elves who used to live in the valley? And they should have come to our aid by now, comrades. I do hope that nothing terrible has happened to them. Ew. Of course, it is night time, so that does not help either. not gonna do us any good. Mm, I guess it's the most damage. Huh? <laughs> Ouch, that hurts. <laughs> oh boy. Um You need to start heading to kill the undead, because you're a priest. This guy, on the other hand... <laughs> Problem is, we're coming up on nighttime, which means that, of course, the enemy is stronger at night than we are. I don't think that should apply to humans, necessarily, but... You know, what can you do? Let's see. Let's come down here and stab him in the face. Stab him in the face. Thank you. You prick. Uh, here. What have we got? Uh... Oh my goodness. That is terrible, guys. Against my better judgment, I'll recall some of them. Maybe I can get a lucky kill and get them upgraded or something. Bodyguards will avenge you. You have bodyguards? You have bodyguards? I stand ready to protect you, my lady. We shall lead these men of West North into the fray. Now hold on. Why don't you have them beforehand? Hmm, debating if I should. To... I'm gonna 
gonna take us back a couple of turns. Sorry guys, but really don't want to lose, you know, our merfolk leader. That seems really silly. So we know the undead are gonna come from this direction. You're gonna be useless against the undead. Okay, try this again here. Minor mistakes on my side were made. Yeah, let's just recall what we can here. goes over there, he'll probably get cut off. That would not be good. Question is, how do we want to pursue that then? <laughs> yeah, yeah, weapons can't pierce them, they're just bones, blah blah blah. Okay. I already know what they say, so... Come on, please, man. It's disparaging, to say the least. Take him back along the road. Okay, I may have taken a big risk because I put that priest out there. But they really seem fascinated with the merman for some reason. I'm not sure why they're so obsessed with that one. See how you're gonna be. Oh, for goodness sakes, it was a 30% chance. Don't give me that. Whatever. 
Oh, you're gonna sneak behind me, aren't you, you dirty git? I see how you are. <laughs> Absolutely killing me. Okay, we have a serious problem here. Uh, let's... There we go. Get you out of here to heal. Try and get you up to heal. and be fargle ye. No, I don't want to risk that. Can I recruit somebody to help out here? Probably the bowman is going to be the best bet. Oh. Perfect. Perfect. I'm dying. It's important. you in the water. I think that's safer. Just a merman fighter. I can't get him up there, unfortunately. Yeah. Okay. Um. Let's see. Let's...
I gotta get him out of there. I can't risk losing him. sure they can't kill that priest if I can avoid it. Uh, yeah, I guess that's what we're gonna do. That's ugly, so I'll get it, though. Come on, survive, peasant. Oh, the peasant survived. My peasant is amazing. commander ever, man. You can't even hit anybody. Good grief. Okay. Let's take stock. We're just about to level, but I can't get you in to fight anybody. That's the problem. You see, the little white bar here on the side is their experience, so obviously if we can get him to level that, we can get somebody else. Now, we took a javelin the last time. Uh, let's grab a pikeman, just because variety. Wow. Nothing, huh? That's just kind of terrible. Risky, but I'm gonna have to try it. Come on, hit him. Thank you. Oh, it wasn't enough to level. attacks and a staff attack. That's terrible. Um, So it looks like that's all we can do right at the moment. <laughs> that peasant is just sticking it out, man. I love it. Okay. Uh... 
Okay, any of you guys close to what's your experience? 27? I don't think it matters, unfortunately. Okay, so that's it there. Move you in with her. No, I think I'm going to leave him there for now, because I'd like for him to... For goodness sakes. You're healing, so you need to stay there. You need to heal, so you stay there. to stay very good. Blast. It's alright though. <laughs> you have bodyguards? I love how they're all astounded. They never saw the bodyguards. <laughs> well, that's fair though. Trading a peasant for three elven archers I think it was. Oh, for goodness sakes, kill him! Yeah, what did we get? Bodyguards. Actually, they're pretty good. Okay, let's... Okay. Let's run you guys down the river here. Hopefully this means I can recruit her bodyguards. Assuming, of course... That's a fairly big assumption. Okay, he needs to stay and heal. But I'll be able to use them in future... Uh, stuff. Does he have... Yeah, he's got a sling that hits for five. Man, that's tough. Job. Fools, my death here means nothing. Even you could find our stronghold. You will never defeat our master. Perhaps, but you at least will trouble us no more. <sighs> ah, so let's go with a swordsman, because we don't have one. That'll kind of let us see all the different units. Now we still have to get somebody down here. So, no matter what we do... gonna have to because she needs to get over here Keep her guards going with her. Oh, fine. Oh. 
couldn't get one freaking hit on him? Come on. Thank you. For goodness sakes. Get her on there. Nebrin, are you there? We have come to seek your aid. Nebrin, where are you? His home is empty. There are several sets of footprints leading away to the south. Perhaps he was taken by the undead. I am not sure. There is no blood here and very little sign of struggle. If it had been the undead, I suspect they would have slain him and made him one of them. Then maybe the bandits who have been summoning the undead took him. We cannot be sure. I should. We should. Uh, I should think that we. That he would have put up a fight. But if he were ambushed or taken by surprise, he may not have had the chance. Ethelio, what do you think? Ethelio, I know you must be distraught, but distraught, distraught. I am angry. We must follow these footprints into the woods. Whoever took our greatest sage must pay. Nothing will stop the vengeance of the elves. Ooh, angry lady. Let us go quickly and avoid doing anything that might make her angrier than she already is. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> Alright, guys, so that's the end of that little scenario. Uh, I will catch you on our next exciting one. Uh, it looks like we're going to carry over some extra gold, so we'll start with an extra 176, which is going to be nice, and we'll just have to see what we're getting ourselves into. Anyways, guys, I will catch you on the flip side. Toodaloo!